<laughs> oh man, do I love money. And you should too. I mean, let's be honest, there's nothing wrong with making money on your live streaming platform, regardless if you're on Twitch, YouTube, Mixer, Facebook, gaming, or anything else. It's important that you actually learn to monetize the content that you're doing, so that way you can keep doing it for the long haul. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the best ways that you can make money on Twitch. Let's go, woo! Oh man, I went way farther than I thought I'm gonna pick that up. Hey, it's me, it's Wild coming at you for my stream support playlist where I bring you the best tips and tricks. And if this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow and improve your stream, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and tick that bell so you know when my videos go live for you. And hey, at any point in this video, if you like the products or the services that I'm talking about, did you all a favor, put links in the show notes below so make sure you check them out. So let's get one thing straight right off the bat. It is okay to make money live streaming, content creation, everything beyond and in between. It's okay to monetize your hobbies, your passions, your profession. It is 100% okay, so get over it. Now, making money may not be your priority, but we all understand that money makes the world go round and learning to monetize your content is a must because it's gonna help you get things like software or hardware or games or other things that you can use for content creation. So allow me to show you the best ways that you can start making money right now on live streaming platforms like Twitch. And yes, just to let you know, these tips will also work on other live streaming platforms like Mixer, YouTube, Facebook Gaming, DLive, Omelette Arcade, Mob Crush, whatever you like to stream on, these tips will also work there. So boom, let's go. Now, if you're a brand new streamer and you wanna start monetizing your content today, all you need to do is accept donations. And you can simply do this by just opening up a PayPal account. You can open up a personal or business account. If you need help on the differences, let me know in the comments below. I can make a video on that. And what's gonna help get you a little bit more monetization out of donations is also signing up with an alert service. Some of the most notable ones will be Streamlabs, Stream Elements, Muxy, Player.me. All of those will work just fine. Having an alert service makes donations a lot more engaging and interactive. So when somebody sends you a donation, you'll have a graphic pop on screen, which thus gives you an opportunity to thank the person who donated to you. And this can even start a snowball effect. So I highly recommend signing up with an alert service. Now signing up with PayPal costs you nothing, but every time a transaction goes through, PayPal will take a piece of the pie because they are a payment processor. So they do it per transaction and a certain percentage you can check their FAQ to see how much they will take. The nice thing about PayPal is it's just like a wire transaction where it's immediate. So the minute that they send the donations, it's in your funds. Next, we have affiliate marketing or affiliate sales. Essentially, you wanna sign up with an affiliate platform. For this example, I'm gonna use Amazon affiliates. One, it's very easy, and two, you can join it at any point, but there's dozens and dozens out there. If you'd like me to do a video on that, let me know in the comments below. If you're not familiar with affiliate marketing or affiliate sales are, is essentially when you take a product, you put it through a link generator, and every time you talk about that product or if somebody's interested in it, you can submit the link or have the link displayed somewhere like on your Twitch channel there. And every time somebody goes through and clicks on it and purchases, you get a percentage of that sale. So for example, if I was talking in this video about the Elgato 4K cam link and you like the quality of this video, I could tell you I use this. And I could say links in the show notes below, or you could even say this on your Twitch stream and put links in the show notes below. So that time, every time somebody goes through and clicks on this and purchase it, you will make a little bit of money. This is actually a really cool tip. Now, if you really wanna take advantage of affiliate sales and marketing, make sure you make it skewed to the audience that you're broadcasting to. So make sure it's very focused on certain games or controllers or monitors or keyboards or mouses that you're using if you have good quality or if you're using good ones. Or if you're like me who does a lot of art and creative sections on Twitch, don't be afraid to affiliate link your painting supplies, your brushes, your markers, your alcohol inks, anything like that because people will be very interested in the products you're using if you produce high quality content. Next we have up is merch sales. And a lot of people think you need an established brand to start doing merchandise sales, but you don't. 
you can start from zero. There's a lot of platforms out there like Teesprings, Designed by Humans, Redbubble, and more that you can have a marketplace on their site that you can link within your Twitch or any live streaming platform. And again, as long as you produce really cool graphics or anything that people will find of value, you can start selling that right away, which means you can start making money right off your first stream. Now, merch sales can be very difficult because it's a lot of nickeling diming, especially if you're trying to sell things like stickers or buttons or anything like that that doesn't have really high margins on it. But hey, to me, even making just a few pennies or a few bucks is worth it to me. But this one may not be for you, so take a little research time on it and research to see if it's gonna be worth your time. Since we're talking about selling, one of the best things you can also do, depending on the type of content you generate, is e-commerce sales. As for myself, I sell a lot of paintings online. And I sell physical art, but that doesn't mean that you're limited to just that. You can do digital arts as well, or maybe you're an emote artist out there, or you do graphic packages, or you do avatars. It behooves you to put these things within your streaming channel so that way you can let people know what your prices are and that you're actually a digital artist because you can make a lot of money on this. And as other platforms like Twitch grows and they expand out into a lot of things, you're gonna be in high demand. Now, if you plan on doing things like e-commerce sales, I highly recommend signing up with a platform that deals with e-commerce. So I'm gonna recommend things like Etsy and Wix. The reason I recommend this is because if you do one-on-one -on -one sales with a lot of people, I've heard too many stories where people get screwed with not getting payment or chargeback. So it's nice to have that middleman there to give you a little extra protection. We can't forget about Patreon. Patreon is a great service to have. In fact, any crowdfunding website or supplemental funding website is great to have in your arsenal. But the trick to using Patreon or anything like Patreon is to make sure that you provide a value that you're not providing on another platform because you're gonna split your community. So you have to be wise of what you're providing for content or what you're providing for a value on things like Patreon. So you may wanna look at things like expanding out your content or doing one-on-one -on -one sessions or behind the scenes or getting a little more in depth or even just like Google Meetup. So consider things like that. And the nice thing about a platform like Patreon is actually their share revenue is a little better price for somebody like you out there. Whereas opposed to Twitch where it's 50-50, Patreon works with you a little bit more. If you're a brand new streamer, guess what? You can actually start earning ad revenue off Twitch. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but wow, that's only for Twitch partners. If you use a program called loots.com, you can actually start posting ads on top of your stream. It's very simple to do. In fact, I did two videos on this, depending on what platform you like to stream on, whether you like slobs or general OBS or XSplit or stream elements. I'll put links in the show notes below, but make sure you check that out. But it's just essentially like having a Google AdSense account. For every ad that pops up on your stream, depending on how many people see it, you earn a little piece of the pie. But just a little note, this is if you already have a bit of an established community or if it's growing. Since we were just talking about Google AdSense, guess what? You can make money on Twitch through Google AdSense. There's a sweet little hack that I want you to pay attention to. There's one of two ways that you can do this. One is if you actually are a creative writer out there, I would highly recommend having a blog or a thread that you can link to within your Twitch panels down below. There are so many creative people on Twitch that don't take advantage of this, that are so eloquent with words. I am super jealous of you. And you can take a strong advantage of this. You can have like a Blogster website, or again, you can have a Wix website, and you can get Google AdSense approved, and you can start having Google Ads that you can start generating people there. Heck, I don't care if you write fan fiction, or if you do recipes, or you do game reviews. This is a category that doesn't get utilized enough, and it'll help you actually get more discovered on platforms like Twitch or any live streaming platform because you can always link back to the correct platform that you're broadcasting from. Number two is exactly how you're watching this video right now. You're watching it on YouTube and YouTube is owned by Google, hence Google AdSense. So when you see a pre-roll or a bump or an after roll, I make a little bit of money depending on how many people obviously see that ad. And it's so simple for you to start making content on YouTube. It costs you nothing. Start making a YouTube channel today, but do me a favor, if you do make one, think about how you're gonna make it focused so you're gonna be searchable for people. If you're interested on how to grow on YouTube so you can start getting ranked or make money, 
do me a favor, leave me a comment below and I can start making videos on that as well. But just like the blog, you wanna make sure that you have a place on your YouTube channel that you can link in your Twitch panels down below and let people know this all the time through commands or timers or always be sure to bump your YouTube channel and let people know what type of value they're gonna get. For example, when I do stream coaching on Tuesdays and Thursdays on twitch.tv slash wild for games, shameless promotion there. If somebody's new to the channel or somebody's not understanding a certain uh, specific thing right off the bat, I go, hey, I have a video on that. Type in exclamation point YouTube and you can go visit my channel. Boom, just like that. Okay, stick with me on these next two because it's not really about getting money, but it's about getting something that's worth money. It's all about getting product or even services. And the top two that I'm gonna recommend for this is Amazon Wishlist and getting things through a PO box that are sent to you. If you wanna do an Amazon Wishlist, it's, it's free and it's easy. All you gotta do is sign up and add things to your wishlist and add a link in your panels on your stream channel. And down below, when people click on that, they can start buying those products for you or even send you the funds for you to buy it. And with a PO box, it's the same thing. They can see what's on your wish list and then they can buy it and send it. I recommend always having a PO box. You're gonna have somebody uh, send you stuff because I wanna make sure that you're safe. And for an extra bonus tip, make sure your PO box is not in the same city as you. So that way nobody knows where you truly are. Now you're probably thinking an Amazon wish list and a PO box, wild, that's dumb. Who's gonna send a scrub like me anything? You would be surprised. Now I don't get that many things sent to me, but I will let you know, I've had a few bottles of wine and whiskey sent to me from regulars and subscribers, and it's awesome when you get a little bit of a present. But there are so many streamers out there that I have known personally that get like games on Steam or actual physical copies or game, computer equipment, new web cameras, new DSLRs, new consoles, new monitors. The possibilities are endless and the support is astounding for people that are on live streaming platforms. So it doesn't hurt you to take advantage of this and give supporters the option to support you this way. And hey, if you would like to send me something, I'm, I'm, I'm totally down with that. Now this last tip for making money as a brand new streamer on live streaming platforms is gonna be controversial and you may or may not agree with it, but it's a proven method, so I'm gonna say it anyways. And this can work at brand new streamer, affiliate, partner, or professional. You decide where it goes. It's all about selling access to certain social media accounts, whether it be Instagram, your Discord, certain private Twitters, or even your Snapchat. Now I know what you're thinking, this is all gonna be about e-girls and thoughts and everything like that. No, I know a lot of people that have private accounts for giving lessons on how to paint or showing progress or behind the scene pictures on Instagram to certain accounts. It's a little hard to manage, but dude, this makes so much money in so many ways, but it takes a lot of time and effort. So it's up for you to decide if this is a good course of action for you. And yes, if you're a smoking hot guy or a smoking hot girl out there, there is nothing wrong with making money off of your assets. Now, if you're a Twitch affiliate, there's actually only really two additional noteworthy ways to make money. And most of you already know about them. It's bits, which is Twitch's own currency for making money and exchanging money online. So every time somebody donates you bits, they're worth a cent, depending on how many you get at the end of the month, they'll accumulate up. If you make over the threshold of $100, you get a payout every 15 days at the end of the month. And number two is getting subscribers, which essentially means every time somebody subscribes to your channel, they, per, they pay a certain amount to register at a certain tier. And depending on those tiers, which come in at $5, $10 and $25, I'm rounding up for easy math, you will earn 50% of that subscriber. Now, when you're a Twitch affiliate, it's up to you as the streamer to provide a value and entertainment that's gonna make people reach into their pockets to donate money to you via bits or buying a subscription to your channel. And this is a very difficult situation for a lot of people because they, they stagnate or they plateau. So if you would like help on how to get more subscribers or more bits, you know what to do. Leave me a comment below and I will be more than happy to make a video on that for you all. Now, if you're a Twitch partner out there, you have two additional ways of making money in addition to things like bits and subscribers. You have access to making money via Twitch's AdSense, which means every time somebody clicks on your channel and it does a pre-roll there, you make a certain percentage of money depending on how many people are gonna see a roll per your stream. 
You can also do bumps in between your streams, so that way when you have a certain amount of people, you can roll a bump, so that way you get more ad revenue. It's really up to the streamer out there. And number two is having access to the Twitch bounty board. If you need a little more experience on where to find this and how to use it, Twitch actually has a really good FAQ, which I'll put links in the show notes below. But essentially what the bounty board is, is it's kind of like signing up with an affiliation or a sponsorship with a particular type of product or a service or a program out there and they'll pay you a certain amount of money depending on the content that you provide on Twitch. And the cool thing about the Twitch bounty board, if you're a Twitch partner out there, is they keep expanding the platform. So it keeps coming to new regions and countries. So pay attention if it's gonna come to your spot soon. Okay, we've moved on to if you're a professional streamer, there are a few additional ways that you can make money. And you can be a professional streamer at any stage, whether you're a partner, affiliate, or just a hobbyist or brand new, because maybe you're starting on a brand new platform. But one of the best ways that you're gonna make money as a professional streamer is through brand deals and sponsorship deals. Now, brand deals and sponsorships, they're similar, but there are some big differences between the two. If you like a video on that, you know what to do. Leave me a comment below and I will see what I can do to help you out on that. But to speed everything up here, essentially all a brand deal or a sponsorship is, is a company is willing to provide you a product or they're willing to provide you money for your time of you showing off the product, talking about the product or demonstrating the product or promoting the product somewhere on your channel because you have so many eyeballs or you have so much clout for what you do that you're drawing people there and it's worth it for them to pay you money to talk about the product or show the product off. So for example, if Helicon wanted me to talk about or demonstrate or show how this product worked for the Go XLR, they could either send me the product for free or they could send me a certain amount of money for time provided or they can even send me money for me to display the product on my stream and talk about it or just put links to it so that way they earn some income. Now brand deals and sponsorships are actually one of the best ways to make money on any kind of content creation, regardless if you're, you're live streaming or doing VOD work on like YouTube or even tutorials. Working with brands and sponsorships are awesome, but just to let you know, it takes a lot of management because you have to do a lot of work researching products and talking about it. It's not like you get a product for free or money for free and you just keep doing what you're doing. That company is paying you. So you're entitled to do a return on an investment for them. They're gonna to wanna to see how many people come to your stream, they're gonna to wanna to see analytics and everything like that. So you have to start being able to produce. So think about that before you start accepting brand deals and sponsorships. You can also make a ton of money by doing appearances, whether it's at live conferences, conventions, anything like that. Heck, just get togethers and events in general. You can make gangbusters, but this is obviously for the upper echelon of streamers or rising streamers out there. One of the best professional tips that anybody can do, but you have to have a professional talent that you can share is doing extended content. And what I mean by that is let's use me for example. I do a lot of painting and I actually do teaching online through different platforms where you can do extended videos or in-depth lessons or guides or tutorials. Uh, certain viewers can pay a certain amount of a fee to watch an extended format video of how I teach them how to paint. Or you can even do this, for example, like when I do stream coaching, which you can go to the insidecreator.com and sign up there. I'm gonna do different extended formats for how to get you to grow or how to be recognized or even get discovered on Twitch's platform. And these are things a lot of people can do, whether you're an artist or a speedrunner, or you know how to do things within Twitch or even coding. There's a lot of things out there, depending on what your talents are, that you can make a dollar or two off of. Like we said, there's nothing wrong with making money on your live streams or content creation. In fact, it's actually smart to monetize your content because I want you to be in this for the long haul. Things cost money, money makes the world go around. Live streaming costs a lot of money and it's not easy. So take advantage and start monetizing your content today. So that way you can lavish yourself in fancy hats just like me on stream. Ah, oh, it's good to own land. Okay, bonus fun time. Remember that money I threw at the beginning of the video? First person to guess how much money I threw up in comments below with the correct number and puts their Twitch account name I will buy one subscription to your account that I will gift out to a rando in your stream. First come, first serve, so start commenting right now. If you guys like this video and you want me to do more videos on how to make an income or understanding how you make money on live streaming platforms like Twitch, you know what to do. Leave me a comment below and I will be more than happy to make a video on that. 
And if you're looking to expand your knowledge on income or making money online, do me a favor, go over to the insidecreator.com and there's actually a tab there with all of my videos that you can look through on how to make money or how to deal with money on Twitch. It's actually a really cool spot. If you guys like this video and you wanna keep helping to support me, make sure you share, like, and subscribe down below. And if you wanna go above and beyond, you can even follow me on twitch.tv slash games where you can even hit that almighty subscribe button. I will see you all in the next video coming up real soon. Take care all, peace.